most people, especially inner city people, usually never thought of going to ICE. Uh, but, and then they just, you know, maybe do other things besides mm -hmm. outdoor. And what we want to do is we actually want the people to get outdoor, um, have fun, learn how to survive in the outdoor too, and ice fishing is part of it. We try to train these people that it's actually safer than what they think. Maybe they don't have the right equipment. Maybe they don't know how to dress for it. Um, maybe they don't, they don't know how to actually start. So the classes that we're doing here at Fort Salon State Park and most of the DNR, uh, especially fisheries does, is that we try to at least give people the basic idea and know-how to, to get out to the lake and actually uh, work out the, the system of ice fishing itself. Safety is number one. I mean, we talked about safety and thickness of ice. Um, so we want people to recognize um, ice safety. Uh, for instance, if, if it gets, the temperature gets too warm, even though the ice is thick and the people think the ice is thick enough and temperature gets too warm and the ice particles start to break down, that ice on the lake will start to look cloudy and not clear, not glass clear. If it's cloudy or has bubble in there, then the strength of the ice becomes weaker. But if you have thick, clear ice, then it's much safer. Thickness in water, ice thickness in water varies. So it could be four inches thick in one area and it could be just only one inch thick in another area. So you really have to, if you're the first to be on the lake, drill a hole and measure the thickness of the ice quite frequently as you drive out. If you're on the river or at least a, uh, a body of water with current in there, any current in the water uh, prevent water from freezing uh, with the uh, thickness. So. Um, you make sure that if you're on river and you think you can go on it, don't just go on it thinking that the whole lake have an average uh, frozen thickness. So you really have to check uh, quite frequently before you go out there. So that's what the education piece is all about. Also pay attention to the fishing regulation booklet too. Um, you know, every year there's a new fishing regulation that comes out. If you really need to go fishing, make sure to grab the regulations and understand the fishing regulations before you go out there. That also includes summer and winter fishing.